Hey, Paul here for Retro Gaming Arts, and today we're going to talk about how to solder. But before you can get into learning about soldering, you need to learn about what you will be soldering. So we're going to start with the most basic of basic circuitry possible, and it's fun. So here we have a breadboard, a capacitor, a 555 timer, some jumper wires, an LED, and some resistors and some power. We're not really gonna, we're not gonna touch on these. I just really wanted to show, you know, there's more, more things to do with soldering and circuitry. And we have this breadboard here. So the way a breadboard works, it's a pretty much like a solderless circuit tester. So you can create circuits, make circuits, and test them without having to solder them. So it makes it very, um, it's perfect for learning, is essentially what it is. And the way a breadboard works is you have all these lines that go across and then they all go down like a little grid. So each one of these rows across are all connected. And then so same with this row. This is your ground and then this is your power all the way down. It's all connected in a row. And then on these sides, they're all connected vertically. Each row is all connected to itself. And then, so those are the basic connections of how this works. And then you need to go and connect whatever you want to this. And we're just gonna start with a simple LED circuit and how an LED circuit works. So we have a battery because you need power for a circuit. So we're going to ground out the battery and we're going to also power the battery. So now that we have ground and power established, we then need to reroute our ground somewhere on the board. We also need to reroute our power somewhere on the board. All right, so now we have power coming. Power's going to this line of pins, and then ground is going to this line of pins. You don't have to jump it. You could have just pulled right from here and here, but. So now to create an LED circuit, you need a resistor because this battery is nine volts and nine volts will explode an LED. So we need to add some resistance from a resistor. So by adding the resistance, what we're doing is re we're reducing the amount of power that is going to go to this LED. So now that we have, so the resistor is still coming off of the power. So that means this point right here is power and this point is ground. So when we connect an LED, we need to connect the LED power to ground. So here we have an LED. As you can see, one pin is longer than the other. That will always be your power. Always. So we're just going to connect the power to the ground. And it turns on. If you disconnect any point in this circuit, it will turn off. Because a circuit needs to be a complete circuit. Or a circle. So, now that we've made a basic LED circuit, this is the most com- like, the, this is the tiniest, most basic circuit absolutely possible. Now, there's other things that you can do that we'll talk about in later versions of this series where if you change the value of the resistor, the value, the val if you change the value of the resistor, that means you're gonna change the amount of power that's going to the LED, that which will change how bright it is. Now, if we just took that LED out and routed the power to the LED itself, it would explode, like I said. So, there's all sorts of little circuits that you can do, but this is the most basic and the most common. And the reason why we're talking about the basic one is because you need to know what you're gonna solder and you need to practice on something just in case you've never soldered before. So let's look at the exact same circuit, but on something. So here you go. Here you have the LED 
then here you have the resistor. And if you look, you'll see the traces. So this is going to the resistor, and then so is this one. So this is your power. So power's coming in, going through the resistor, and then through this trace to the power side of the LED right here. And then this is the ground side of the LED, which is going out and grounding everything else. So that's your circuit that you just made, but in the control panel of a Super Nintendo. So now, with like a little later on, we'll talk about desoldering so you know how to actually remove these and pull this out and change the color if that's what you so choose to desire or whatever. But you gotta understand how basic circuitry works before you can start going in altering it or fixing it or anything like that. So with this video series, we're starting small and then we're gonna progressively, you know, move on to more and more and more and more and just go over pretty much everything. So uh, thanks for watching and um, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, stay around and keep watching. I'll be doing a lot more of these types of videos and uh, if you're not too much of a fan of these types of videos, don't worry, because we have all that regularly scheduled content anyway. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.